Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Tech. Good to see you guys again. And I'm so sorry guys for the delaying content, but I had to come back with a bang. And so that is why I'm finally, finally gonna share my first look here on Frankie Tech of the Xiaomi 13 Ultra. That's right. First look on the channel of the 13 Ultra. And I got a special guest here behind me. This is James Devonard at Devonard from Twitter. Please go ahead and follow him because he has graciously allowed me to, you know, show off his unit here on the channel and also, you know, share his impressions as well. So, hi James, how you doing? Good. good. You, you doing <laughs> awesome, good. man. It's been super busy, but so glad to have this phone here on the channel. And we're gonna kind of do this uh, street tech style where we just share like my first initial impressions, guys. I gotta say of the design. Let's talk about it. I didn't see this kind of raised lip there, but you see the camera module on this thing is massive. James, what do you think of that design? It's pretty, pretty subdued though. I, I do like the black uh, color. I'm not sure if I'm a huge fan of this. Uh, this like faux leather bag, but what do you think, man? What do you I think like of the design? The bag. You do and, like it. Uh, I think it's really distinct. We have like this uh, edge that like sticks out. That is true. I mean, That's I just, pretty new. I, I, I think see that, that is true. And I, if anything, to make that massive, you know, camera bump a bit smaller, but otherwise it feels like a really premium device. Look, design was never like an issue of mine. I think with these uh, flagship Xiaomi phones. And I think it's kind of a, you know, an evolution of the 12S Ultra we saw last year, for sure. Yeah, but this Display on this Xiaomi 13 Ultra. The first moment that I picked this up and I took a look at that display, it is a gorgeous display, guys. Now, I do have a question, uh, Devonard. This 2000, is it 2500 maximum nits? They say it's 2600. Oh, but, uh, 2,600, I, I, I that's right. I don't think I need to do any testing because a lot of people say it's not there. Okay, <laughs> okay. Look, it's a beautiful display. Yeah, it's a bit curved on the edges, but you see the bezels. Look, I've heard comment about the bezels not being even, but you know, look, it's still a full screen display and it is beautiful. You got that 120 hertz refresh rate for sure. I, I don't have any complaints about that and initial impressions, you know, great display. Pretty chunky phone, but I think, you know, you have a beautiful display on the front. Let's jump down to performance. And, you know, since you've been using this one for a bit, we got obviously that Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 in here. How's the performance been for you, man, so far with this it's Xiaomi 13 Ultra? It's pretty stable. It's pretty stable. Played a bit of Genshin today. Okay, sweet. Uh, it's, it's overall just, you know, the 8 Gen 2. I mean, uh, Xiaomi exactly. done everything they could to cool this thing. So yeah, it didn't and exactly feel so warm when I was playing it. Exactly, yeah. Uh, it only gets warm when you, like, charge it with a 90 watt charger. Okay, sweet. Yeah, no, I mean, I think, look, it, performance on these things is going to be incredible and the 13 Ultra is going to be no different. I will leave that to my buddy Chris from Tech Tablets. Shout out, Chris, to do his crazy Genshin uh, heat tests and all that stuff because you know what? Like, uh, I don't game as much anymore, but I definitely will be, uh, you know, asking him what the experience is and thanks for sharing your experience as well, bro. Now, in terms of the battery life, we have a 5,000 milliampere capacity and that 90 watt charging, which is a great spec. That's actually very impressive, you know, for this device. Uh, I tried really hard, as I told you, to yeah. burn down the battery. Yes, and you've been, today, you've been doing, doing that like, earlier today. Impact, <laughs> even doing um, and, you know, I've been like tethering the device to uh, like my Vivo. Yeah. And, uh, you know, just watching stuff, lots of screen on, lots of just playing games. Just could not burn it down. I that's mean, awesome. I mean, that's charge, great to hear. Uh, discharge at 7.50 a.m. Yep. And then at like, uh, what was it? When did I tell you? I think like it was, it was like 2 or 3 p.m.? No, no, it was 4. Or 4 p.m., okay. 4 p.m., and then I finally burned it down to 10%, and then I got busy. So then okay. I had to stop. <laughs> so okay, yeah, sweet. Very good battery. Like, yeah, I, no, I mean, I, it, I definitely think it's... Uh, 5,000 milliampers is pretty standard for Xiaomi flagships, but great to hear that you've been getting, you know, better than Very expected great. battery life. And the 90 watt charging heats up the phone a bit, but I think, look, That's you're normal. you're zero to 100 in what? Like 40, 40 uh, plus minutes? 10% to 100 in, in 40 minutes. Yeah, I mean, that's that's Fine. that's perfect. That's perfect. But now let's do it. Unlock this bad boy. Cause let's face it, we're only here for one thing. And before the sun goes away here, let's talk about it. These cameras, this, what is it? Four 50 megapixel cameras. Yep. Main sensor is the IMX 989, so that's a full 1H sen uh, sensor. Wow. And then the rest of them are like uh, all the same. They're the IMX 858. They're sensor size one over 2.51. Amazing. So um, they're all. I think that's the good thing, though. All the satellites. Yeah. No, I do appreciate that. Day. That they they finally kind of leveled that out. Yep. 
And you know, in terms of like the, you know, the main, I guess, selling point of this camera system is that variable aperture. Uh, and I know, look, I think the one inch sensor on this is gonna be incredible. We saw the 12S Ultra output amazing results as well. But how's your experience been with that like variable aperture? Cause that's one thing I definitely wanna test in the next uh, couple of hours here there's, with this phone. There's, there's a bit of difference uh, between the, the F1.9 and F4.0. But then um, it seems a little bit processed to me. It's very nice. Because like in, in terms of like, if you think about the physics, it's a very, it's a, it's a phone. You know, you, variable aperture will work, but in a really limited way. I think yeah. other YouTubers have also like mentioned this, you know, the difference isn't really big, but then it seems like they also boosted it with like algorithms. But, yeah, um, so that's it, interesting it was, to see like what, like, what is because I've seen definitely a lot of use cases, but also like certain fringing on like cars or on certain like you know different things, certain different uh, how we call it. Uh, I don't know, like on certain edges when you're using it, and also like a, the bouquet, bouquet being a bit like squared off versus circular. I don't know if you've noticed that. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. because the camera, the uh, the the five X, is a rectangular shaped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And let's kind of take a look at so, that yeah. real quick here on the back. So yeah. Yeah, there you can kind of the see it there. Is, uh, rectangular. But I mean, look. I do think, is this a flagship camera system? Absolutely. Absolutely yeah. Does this trounce the 14 Pro Max that it's filming right now in terms of all that? Like in terms of full capabilities? Absolutely. This is more on par with an S23 Ultra oh, yeah. in terms of what it can do uh, for so many features. But I guess like, is all that complexity as amazing as it is gonna be able to be untapped by like your regular user with the with, uh, you know, enthusiast? That's the real question. And I think that's one you had a few thoughts yeah, on, man, but I you're still kind of- some opinions about that. <laughs> Okay, if it's the average consumer um, and you, you're coming to this phone and you're expecting to just like easily output amazing artistic pictures, that's not gonna happen. Like, yeah, it's... if you look at this here, I'll unlock this and I'll show you guys. Yeah, yeah, please do. A little bit. Uh, if you just take a look at this menu here, look at all the toggles, all of them. Oh my gosh. You got the aperture. Okay, that's two choices. Yeah. You got the Leica vibrant and authentic. That's two choices. Yes, vibrant then, for the win. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then you have all these. Photos oh my gosh. That give you that a is different cr- mood. See, look, this is that, like I mean, that's, different wow, that from, like, changes the, yeah, the whole thing. Doesn't changes it? Wow. the whole thing. And then there's AI mode and non AI mode, which I have no idea. Yeah, that's they don't honestly give you, like instruction <laughs> manuals, and that's kind of annoying. So it's not really like point and click kind of pixel style like not. iphone style point and click it is not it's as in-depth as you want to be in terms of a camera but it's also like the complexity will be amazing for some but will be frustrating for other, others it i guess is, is the main is, point yeah. thanks james no this is an amazing you know impressions here because honestly guys this is my first time really taking a look at this phone and i do appreciate devin art here who's been able to you know share some of his insights before we do this which will be just my kind of first look at impressions video of this Xiaomi 13 Ultra, which looks like a terrific device. And I do think, you know, look, am I gonna pick one up for my own? I I really don't know, but I do appreciate it, man, for letting me at least take a hands-on here of your device. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can get something a little bit more uh, in depth on this phone coming up this weekend, guys, so stay tuned. But once again, apologies again for the delay in content. It's been super busy, but you know, life, you know, calls you to different things and you just gotta, you gotta do it. So, uh, but I am back once again. I appreciate all the support guys and stay tuned. Well, like I said, for that more in-depth video of this Xiaomi 13 Ultra coming later this weekend. But hit me up in the comments, guys. Xiaomi 13 Ultra, are you still interested in this phone? And if you've picked one up, what has your experience been? I'd love to hear about it. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, give me that thumbs up. And if you love the content of Frankie Tech, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon for future updates. There's the Xiaomi 13 Ultra saying goodbye and a beautiful evening sky here saying goodbye as well. Thanks again, James, for this awesome, you know, collab here, we can call it. (laughs) And go find him on Twitter at Devinard. And, you know, definitely follow him. I'll share links in the description where you can follow him on Twitter as well. So that's it. And this is where I leave you by saying, this is Frankie Tex signing off. (laughs) Yes, have a good one. All right, man, let's go and check this one out. Have a good one.